we're here at Riverside of the Rec Center Bridge, right in the center of Woodstock, and you can kind of see the perspective of the height of the water. During the flood on August 28th, the water was all the way up to the bottom of that bridge. So there's even still a twig up on top of the, of the bridge. And if we look upriver a little bit, there's a little theater, um, and that has been used for many things, but it's a classic old mill building. The water was up and over that stone wall to give you some perspective. Uh, it filled the little theater's basement, which is where Rainbow Pre Preschool is, with water. The rec center is on the other side. The water came up and over the stone wall, filled in the little pool with mud. The big pool is okay. They've actually got it clean, and I don't know if it's swimmable yet, but it's still it's got blue water in it. So it was incredibly high, probably higher than it was when this used to be a mill dam here. So it's really incredible. It's right. It's it's come down quite a bit. It's still higher. It's like a spring high right now, um, and we'll see that come down as fall progresses. So it's really incredible how much water was coming through here, and yet in only one week. One week, it's back to pre pre uh, flood levels, and we'll see. It's going to take a while to clean this up. This is a bank of uh, of the house that's on, across the river from the rec center. And there's a lot of a lot of erosion here with tree roots being exposed and PVC pipes and whatnot. The house just up the way lost their deck when their footings were actually washed out. So there is damage, certainly. Uh, the actual damage to homes here in the center of Woodstock is not so bad. So Woodstock actually came through okay. Along some of the other towns, though, in Queechee and Bridgewater and Killington, Pittsfield, those towns, they got a lot of water.